Hello, everyone, and welcome to the Roger E. Carlson Fieldhouse for CTN's live coverage of high school volleyball. Tonight, the Coon Rapids Cardinals hosting the Cooper Hawks. A little non-con action late in the season. Joe Young, Howie Shapiro, sidelines for the action. And Howie, uh, another chance to see a Cardinal team face a like opponent. Yeah, it's a good opportunity for the Cardinals. Uh, you know, just three wins on the season to see if they can get their fourth. I was talking with head coach Brian Borgos of, of Cooper, and this is a big game for them as well. It could it could use, if the, a win here could give them an opportunity to get the ninth seed in the section. So they're, again, looking at an opponent that's common and, and hoping that they, they too could come away with the win. Cooper will have the opening serve, and we are underway. Weiss plays it back over. Big attack, Weiss. There with the block. Biggins as well. Mastler the dig, but the Cardinals cannot get it back across. Good line play in front for Coon Rapids. You get an opportunity. There's smart communication. That one going out. One apiece. Michaela Wilbur serving Joe, and she's just a freshman. Getting the opportunity to start here tonight. Cooper, a little miscommunication, but able to play it over. Biggins on the attack for the Cardinals. Dug out nicely by Kasson Gray. Matt Stiller a little behind on the timing, just tips it over. Attack is long, and the Cardinals take the point. And Walker just a little bit too much on at that time. And she's going to put it well over the end line. Weak pass back, picked up by Galicia. Matt Stiller attacking this time, and no question on that one. That was a perfect kill. He got the elevation and, and just pounded it to the floor. No opportunity for the Hawks to, to even sniff getting a return back of that ball. Service error for Wilbur will give Cooper the serve back with a 3-2 Cardinal lead. Shayla Tran serving, and she gives it right back. Audrey Anderson getting an opportunity to come in here for Coon Rapids. She put it in right down the line. They thought it was going out. It's an ace for Anderson. Yeah, the Hawks were hoping that one was a little bit long, but Anderson with a nice service. As you see it hitting the line. Tran plays this one over for the Hawks, attacking his Weiss. Tran is there. Walker plays it toward the back line. Shevchuk picks it up. Masteller on the attack. This one's into the stands. Cardinals have another kill, another point, and a four. Point cushion. Master only again with a with a nice kill from that portion of the net, just doing a good job of pounding it to the floor. Walker pushed back by Masteler. Shevchuk picks it up. Galicia sets. Masteler attacks. They got a piece of it. And not able to dig it out are the Hawks. Cardinals trying to roll here up 7-2. See it again. Good play at the net for Coon Rapids. They'll pop a five point lead. Illegal touch. And an early timeout for the Hawks. A Cooper coming on the road here, trailing 8 2.
Their last win came uh, September 25th, a 3-0 win against St. Paul Como Park. But uh, the only other win beforehand was all the way back on the 4th of September, a 3-0 win at Fridley. Cardinals last win September 20th, a 3-1 victory over Irondale. They've dropped, they dropped uh, two in a row, 0-3, 3 losses at Elk River and home against Champlain Park. There's head coach Brian Borgos. Both teams in their losses. Each team only has two losses. That is more than three sets. Two losses that are that are not sweeps. Yep. Audrey Anderson returns to the service line. 8-2 lead for the Cardinals here in the first set. Picked up by Walker. They'll set to the near side and getting it through the block. For the kill is McKenna Thies. A good timeout for Cooper, able to set up a play in Thies with a nice strong kill. Cardinals not able to return it. Felicia able to get there. Played across by Wilbur. And they call a carry on Clay Anthonette. Head coach Brian Grover was talking to the official. Didn't feel that that was a, a point should have been awarded to Coon Rapids, getting an explanation from our chair official. In the middle, a big block. Masteler and Lom were both there. Great timing, both of them going up and making sure that they were able to block that back over the net, not allow Cooper to get the point. That one fired wide point by Thies. Cardinals have opened up an 11-3 lead. Attack is wide. are attacking, they got a piece of it. Able to pick it up and Schneider plays it across. In the middle, Lom just pushes it over. Good diving save by Walker. Played over by Faith King. Masteler, King is there. Masteler will get the kill and end the rally. And that, uh, Cooper put that ball up real shallow. And the Cardinals able to put it back to the floor and gain that 10 point lead. We're going to see it here. Just an easy one for Masteller. I think she thought that one may have been going out. Guess what, we're on YouTube, did you know that? I heard that. Yeah, there is a rumor. Before. I got an email about it once, so. So it must be true. It must be, look, and we're, you know, we're on a phone. Any any device, you can catch us. Go to YouTube, catch us live, catch replays, watch Sports Night if you want, 100, 100 200 times in a row, like we do. Gotta do something to help I, our own ratings. I know. I liked, I liked Sports Night last night about 17 times. Looks good, it, do, it does. It will look like oh, people day. are actually watching it. And it's just actually you and I, right? Make sure you check us out. Shevchuk to serve. A 10-point lead for the Cardinals. Picked up by Schneider deep. King on the attack. That's wide. Yeah, we've seen we've seen a few points like that from Cooper just trying to kill him, pushing it wide. Point 
That one just didn't quite have the right spin on it and falls to the floor. 15-3. Oh, yeah, just soft, English on it. soft one, right where they weren't expecting it. Peyton Shevchuk. Like that, didn't, didn't get a lot on it, got enough to. Dropping it in right. there to find the floor. Knuckleball. Middle attack picked up by Wilbur. Shevchuk will send it over. Attacking his thesis it's long. Oh, we talk about the volleyball going on a game of runs, and Coon Rapids has really done so here this evening. Tried that one again, but this time Cooper able to handle it. Another one fired long. No, that one no, uh, went off Coon Rapids. But pretty good run for the Cardinals. I, I would say so. Fourteen to one run there for a time. Pushed over by Theus. Big attack oh. by Lom Walker, saving a Cardinals touch. Now this is uh, what Cooper desperately needs to go on a little bit of run of their own here. A couple of, couple of points here to cut the lead to 12. Lom attacking, didn't get the angle she wanted. Just miss hit that one a little bit. Oh, nice kill. Big power for Becca Masteller on the right side this time. Yeah, she's been strong so far in this first set. That one well long, 19 to six. Biggins will check back in for Audrey Anderson. Add a little more height to the front line. What a heave to get that one back onto the court. Wilbur attacks. Hawks. Able to recover, it looked like, but. That was a great save. Then not able to return. See it again. Doing a great job. Oh, that was the uh, that was the point. Thought they're going to show the save. That was a great save by Cooper. Carry called on Cooper. Twenty-one six. That one kind of ran up on Walker. King there to help her out. They get it across with Thies. Lom tipping it over. King left hand jab. Puts it across. The attack is blocked. Pushed across by Galicia. Walker is there. King finds the floor. Well, King's missed a couple of those cross court ones, and that was a uh, good job for her to get the point for the Hawks. 21 7 lead in favor of Coon Rapids. Back into the net for Quirum. Side out right back to Coon Rapids. Looking to try to finish this first set off with some authority here. King 
King attacks well long. Point Cardinal. Big save by Shepchuk. Puts it right back on the Cooper side. The attack is long for Quiro. And it's set point for Coon Rapids. All right, Cardinal Nation is yeah, set just a little point. bit too much. That was just a great save by Shepchuk. Shepchuk doing a nice job of getting that one back over. Biggins attacking big stuff by Quirum. Keeps the Hawks alive. Biggins just tips it over this time. Attacked by Quirum in the kill. Yeah, good elevation by Quirum. Able to push it to the floor with some authority. The Hawks just trying to stay in this one. Too long. And that will be set. Cardinals. They take the first 25 to 9. We'll take a short break. Be back with more from the field house after this. You're watching Coon Rapids versus Cooper live on CTS. Catch the leader. And it's hard to throw you for a loop. No, not, not when it comes to swimming. The County Health construction of the overpass can start in March or April and be finished by the start of the new school year. I'm going to live to be 100. <laughs> Are you looking for a fun activity for your school or civic group? Volunteer at the Coon Rapids Recycling Center. The center relies on two to three volunteers every week to help us manage the recyclables that come in and to guide guests throughout the facility. Special events such as paper shredding or the Green Expo require even more volunteers. Stop in and check us out. So Coon Rapids going on a couple of big, long streaks early. Got themselves a huge lead. A lot of miss hits by the Cooper Hawks. Helped along the way, and the Cardinals take a decisive 25-9 win in the first. Well, that's the way they want us, Joe, to start this uh, this first set. You know, get that first win. You know, when I talked to uh, Coach, Coach Borgos, he said, Either team could go and win this one 3-0. It could go five. Right now, the Cardinals uh, are dominant in that first set. And that's something that uh, he's got to get his team to figure out, get back and try and get this set number two to get right back into this match.
Okay, we're getting things rolling here. Cardinals are gonna start serving. Sam Lom will get the second set underway for the Cardinals. Wilbur's attack picked up by King. In the middle, it's Quirin getting the point. No, actually. Around the attack, touch the net. Yep. And the Cardinals start out with a 1 0 lead. Well, those are kind of the errors that uh, Coach Borgos did not want to see his squad make. Sam Lom into the net. Weiss attacking, gets the kill for the Cardinals from the left side. side out, and the side out right back to the home team. And just nice set and a nice kill to the floor where Weiss. Not the pass that King wanted on the serve received. The Cardinals get the ace. Walker attacking, saved by Masteler. Masteller with the kill. And we watched her do that in the first set, picking up where she left off. From that left side, had some, had some great success from the right side as well. And a big ace for Wilbur. Now, Cardinals start off exactly how they want to here in set number two. Now in the box number 12, Sydney Stokeland. Big attack and a much needed point in the middle. Maggie Cole gets the kill for Cooper. A yeah, strong play at the net there. Not much will, uh, that the Cardinals can do about it. Savannah Ballard serving, picked up near the back line by Wilbur. Weiss will play it across. Attack partially blocked, picked up by Galicia. Pushed over by Wilbur. And it finds the floor Cardinals point back on the service line. That wasn't the prettiest of points, but uh, Cardinals will take it. Audrey Anderson will check back in to take over at the service line. Skoglin put it right where the Cardinals had a hole in their defense. Gets the side out right back for the Cooper Hawks. Laura Beaner. And a kill in the middle again for Cole. Back to a two point deficit. Yeah, better start here for Cooper. Again, get that kill opportunity. Now just down by two. They just want to make sure they keep this close. Give themselves a chance here. After, after losing badly in that first set. Masteller fires long. Cardinals able to work that one back over. 
Got in tight on Audrey Anderson. Shepchuk to need to dig it out. Attacked by Masteler. Side out back in the Cardinal favor. And they maintain that lead. A small run there by Cooper, but Cardinals with a big kill from Masteller. Gives them that, as you mentioned, the two-point lead and the service. Lom <laughs> faked with the right, tipped it across with the left. Smart play at the net by Sam Lom. I don't think that was entirely her plan, but it worked out great. Oh, sure it was. <laughs> yeah, I'll just do it. it nothing but a thing. That one's long and the lead back to four for Coon Rapids. <laughs> Hung up at the net. Cardinals touched it. The Hawks, again, just not allowing Coon Rapids to go on the kind of run that they went in that first set. Shevchuk able to get that one back in play, and Delicia puts it across. Mastiller attacking. Pushed away by Cole, the attack for Theus, wide, and the Cardinals get the ball back. And here, just a little bit too long, Smarley Coon Rapids, watch it goes out of bounds. Service into the net gives Cooper the serve back. Emma Fretag in to serve. And gives it right back. Anderson out, Biggins back in for the Cardinals. Attack is long for Wilbur. Yeah, a little bit too much on it for the freshman. King returns to the service line. Pushed over by Wilbur. Diving attempt by Fretag, but out of bounds, and the Cardinals will get it right back. And they continue to, to play with that four-point lead. 12-8 now, Coon Rapids. <laughs> Diving saved by Fretag, Quirim. Attacks, Lom is there, Lom will pass it across. We're a blocked. Biggins and Weiss both there. Just enough, enough on it to find the line. Gives the point to Cooper. Serving is Ukstad. Biggins to the corner. Yeah. Get it right back. Yeah, put it where she needed to put it. Maybe a little miscommunication on the part of uh, the Hawks that not going for it. Back 
to a four point lead. Well, trading points for the most part over the last several. That's, uh, that works in the Cardinals favor if it stays that way, but Correct. this is an ace to at least give Cooper the service point. Nice placement on that serve. Weiss finds the floor. Andre Anderson back in and Ella Piggins back out. And a good start to her service. Cooper's going to take another timeout, trailing by 5, 16 11 here in set number two. Cardinals looking to try and see if they can take a 2 0 lead here. I have you thinking. Coon Rapids with the 1-0 lead with a 25-9 win in set one. Coach Borgo is telling his uh, squad to get tough. Cardinals with the five-point lead and the serve. Mastiller. Oh, nice. They're so used to that, that kill from that side from Mastiller and just found that little soft spot on the floor. See here, just a little push. No opportunity for Cooper. Anderson served just barely. Barely. Long. King on the attack, Shevchuk there to pick it up. Point for Cooper, leads back to, down to four for Coon Rapids. And that worked. Hey, Audrey, Audrey Anderson. Long pass was going over. I think Kalicia redirected it a yep, little bit. She did. And uh, Just enough to push it up and over. It's into the right spot, yep. regardless. And the Cardinals come away with the side out. Big defense for Galicia and Long on that side. And it pushes the Cardinals to uh, uh, doing a nice job up front, their, their front line here, both uh, through both sets so far. Mastiller's attack picked up. King able to push it across. Mastiller trying to put a little English on it that time. She fires it to the floor. Hawks taking the timeout again here now. Coon Rapids up 20-13. Now Stellar made sure that uh, she was going to get the point for her squad.
you know, you're so good at following me around. You should, <laughs> everybody should follow us on Twitter. I'm still waiting for the Yund uh, Twitter account to come back to life. I'm I'm following you around. You follow me around all the time. All the time. All the time. Everywhere you go. That's right. Even when I'm not there, you can follow me on Twitter. Follow us on Twitter at CTN Studios. Hey, we were there for about half a second. Coon Rapids getting the lead a little larger at the right time here late in the second set. They already lead one set to none. Shevchuk at the service line up by 7, 2013. And make it 21. Yund officially the fourth ace of the set for the Cardinals, sixth of the match. Hawks able to work that one back across. Lom just pushes it over. Hoopstead keeps it up. In the middle is Cole. Here's Masteller attacking. Cooper able to get it back over, but Masteller put it to the floor again. Uh, good, just good court awareness by Masteller, just able to stay with that and just softly redirect it. Masteller blocked. Lom will tip it over the attempt by Cole. Big block by Masteller. She's, she's been the star for the, the Cardinals here for the, through the first two sets. Little miss timing on the jump on the Cooper side. And it's set point, Coon Rapids. Cardinal Nation, it's set point. Cole in the middle will keep this one going. Cooper trying to stay alive here, now down by 10. You know, we saw them early in the second set just really keep it close, but give credit to the Cardinals for increasing that lead and playing with it. Hill blocked, but out of bounds. King, rather. Long tipped back, but out of bounds. And that'll be set Cardinals 25-15. Good job by the Cardinals to win that second set, take a 2-0 lead. Looking to close it out here in set number three coming up. They would definitely like to get the sweet victory in front of their home fans. We'll take a break, be back with the third set after this on CTF. Nagasu, 2010 Olympian and bronze medal winner of the 2014 U.S. Championships. I knew I loved skating at the age of five and now it's become my life passion. Find your skating passion at the Coon Rapids Ice Center. Classes are available all year round. It could be the place where your skating dreams come true. See you on the ice. Oh, hi. I'm TV's Howie Shapiro. And when I'm not announcing CTN sports broadcasts with my sidekick, Joe Yen, 
and watching all the other great programs on the CTN Studios YouTube page. There's news stories, great local events, and even full games. You can even watch on any smart device with a YouTube app. Whether that's your phone or a tablet, you can watch CTN's great programming wherever and whenever you want. You can even watch CTN's event coverage live. So no matter where you are, you can share in all the excitement. CTN Studios, building community through cable. This is my kingdom come. This is my kingdom come. Hi, I'm Ryan Nagasu, 2010 Olympian and bronze medal winner of the 2014 U.S. Championships. I knew I loved skating at the age of five, and now it's become my life passion. Find your skating passion at the Coon Rapids Ice Center. Classes are available all year round. It could be the place where your skating dreams come true. See you on mice. Looking for a new home? Come to Coon Rapids. Down payment assistance is available from the Mortgage Assistance Foundation when you purchase your new home with an FHA 203K mortgage. Any single family home in need of renovation or rehab can qualify. Find out more today. Call 763-767-6422 or visit the city's website. We love our new home. A little closer game, especially in the early going in set number two. Cooper able to get a couple of pieces worked out, but the Cardinals able to get the streak at the right time as they closed it out down the stretch. Oh, the, the uh, Cooper Hawks have to start out the way they did in that second set and keep it close if they want to stay in this match. The Cardinals know that. Cardinals want to continue to play strong volleyball like they have through the first two sets and, and again, see if there's a possibility they can sweep it in three and get their fourth win of the year. But we have another, at least one more set. Ookstad to serve. Picked up by Wilbur. Played across by Biggins. And the Hawks not able to organize to get it across. Big block by Weiss. Cooper able to recover. Biggins attacking there to pick it up as Frith free tag. Masteller attacking this time. And she will get it through the defense to the floor. Well, she's been solid more times than not, Masteller. She does a nice job from that wing on the left side. They set her up that time, and she nearly made him pay. Biggins attacking, great save by Ukstad. Sent over by Ballard. Masteller attacking again. King is there. An illegal touch by the Cardinals. Kenneth Thies checks back in as Ballard goes to the service line. Mastiller attacks long. One of the, two all. Uh, one of the few times she's been off here this evening. It's a little bit too much on it. A weak serve receive in the Hawks capitalize. Oh, this is their first lead since it was 1-0 in the first set. A solid serve, too. B 
Bean are attacking. Lom saves it. Masteller attacks. Masteller oh. pops it back over. Getting it in front of the block was Cole. And the Hawks are up 4-2. Fighting to stay alive. Well, this is the opportunity they're looking for, just, you know, to go up in, in, a, in a match or in a set. Biggins tips it over the defense, finds the hole, stops the rally. Yeah, just a little tip. She returns to the bench as Audrey Anderson takes over at the service line. Beaner attacking through the block, side out, Cooper. A good job by the Hawks getting that service back, keeping that two-point lead. Masteller just not getting what she wanted on that one. Yeah, she knew it. Hawks go up 6-3. Tag down the middle, successful and a four point lead for the Cooper Hawks. Well, this is the start they wanted again, and, and instead of trading points, they're building their lead. King attacks, Wilbur is there. Masteller attacks. Eukstead picks it up. Big stuff by Weiss and Masteller on the left side. They needed that point, stop that rally. They did, and they, they don't want to get uh, this lead, have this lead grow from Cooper too much. And getting that point in the service back, an opportunity to cut into the, just a three point lead for Cooper. Cole goes out there, gets it right back for him. <laughs> Kept alive at the net, Mastiller. Sends it over, and the Hawks can't send it back. See it again. Mass Deller a little bit on it off the fingertips. Mastiller receives, attacks wide down the line, and it's 10-5 Cooper. Got a break for Cooper here. This is what they've been looking for. They just have to continue to play with the lead. Free tag serves. Wilbur pushes it over, diving, saved by a couple of Hawks. And then miscommunication on the pass lets it fall. Back in the game for the Cardinals, number 21, Ellie Bingham. And we've seen both teams struggling with those unforced errors, costing themselves points.
Tipping it through the block that time was Faith King. And now Hawks, of course, in a position where they're fine. Uh, trading points. Trading points. Yeah, yeah. And, you know, and this is, a, again, Hawks not letting Cardinals go on any kind of a run here in set number three. Attack stymied in the middle. Sam Wom. Stuffing up the middle. And now Wom at the service line. Free tag plays it across. Left handed sneak tip by Weiss. The passing not crisp on the other side of the net. It doesn't come back. Maybe they do practice that. I think they must. Several times we've seen him go up, fake with the right, tip with the left. Push to the back line and right at the back line by Taylor Quirum. Side out back to Cooper. Not enough on that serve. Gives the uh, Cooper the down to three point lead. Another big block in the middle. Olivia Weiss getting the stuff this time. Yeah, just great timing. Their defense has been impressive. Yes, it has. A little bit too much on that serve. Leads back to three for Cooper. McKenna Thies checks back in at the net for the visitor. Savannah Ballard at the service line, just an eighth grader. Weiss tips it over. Ballard can't get there. Lead down to two and a timeout for Cooper. Yeah, Cooper uh, has seen their lead dwindle a little bit here. I think good timeout for the Hawks here. Just settle, settle the squad down a little bit with a two-point lead. Down two sets, knowing that uh, if they don't win this one, their evening is over. Hey, Red's in the house. What a surprise. I know you're shocked. Some other sports well represented. Yeah, some football players Showing here. Showing support. Yeah. Big road trip for the uh, Cardinal football squad on Friday night. So they travel to Chanhassen. Big road trip for us to pack a lunch or a dinner <laughs> or both. So Audrey Anderson to serve with the Cardinals trailing by two. They are up two sets to nil here in the third. Trying to close it out. Beaner across. Shevchuk is there. Here's Mastiller tipping it over. Kept up by Cole. Played across by Ukstead. Big kill in the middle for Olivia Weiss. And it's one point. Yeah, lead down to one, as you as you mentioned. It just good job getting the point there at the net. That was a diving save that ended up too tight for, to the net for the Hawks to do anything with it, and we have a tie match or a tie set, I should say, at 13 all. A 
another big kill in the middle for Olivia Weiss. Coon Rapids back in front. See Weiss, Weiss with a solid kill to the floor. Serve into the net, we're back to a tie. And Cooper a chance to serve. Laura Beaner at the service line. Wilbur picks it up, Mastiller attacking. Long pass saved up front. Cole. He plays it out, good communication. <laughs> Mastiller was ready to play it. It's called off. Wisely as it goes wide. Puts Coon Rapids back in front. That return just too, too close to the net. Thies able to get it in under the block. Side out back for her team. Now trailing by one as Maggie Cole goes to the service line. Cardinals had to scramble a little bit, wasn't pretty. Got it over, Quirum pushing it. Great save by Shevchuk. The Cardinals just can't work it back out. Thought they were gonna get a chance to keep that point going. That ties it up. <laughs> Masteller attacks and finds that far line. An impressive strike by Becca Masteller. And she will head now to the service line. Her team up by one. Yeah, it's getting to that point in the in the set where a run would be huge for obviously either squad. Sam Lom taking advantage of the weak pass, hanging up over the net. Puts it right back to the floor. Sends Masteller back to the service line. Good job by Lom in the center. That's an ace for Mastiller. Three-point lead, largest of the set for the Cardinals. They trailed most of this third set after winning the first two. Trying to close it out here up 19-16. And that was right at the back line, a couple of aces here for Beckham Mastiller. Timeout for Cooper. Yeah, again, the, now the uh, lead's up to four for Coon Rapids, and a good time out here for Cooper. Got to settle the, uh, his girls down. Carlos trying to go on the uh, over on here and close it out. You know, this is, uh, we talked about it, this is a uh, three and nine team against a, a two and 10 team. McCarles may play a bit, little bit better level of competition. Not much, but. So Mastiller returns to the service line. A couple of aces in this service for her. Cardinals with that 2016 lead. Oh, they were able to get it back, and then Lom nearly had it go off her, just kind of rolled up off of her face. Big Great block. defensive positioning by both Galicia and Lom. 
Cardinals creep ever closer. And a net violation by Cooper will make it a six point lead now just three points away from the match. My Cardinals. <laughs> the net violation. Coach Hans doesn't believe it. Emma Frettag at the service line. Tell getting a little clarification from our floor official. It's an interesting guy. Uh, obviously, the coach, the coaches cannot question the officials, no. but captains can. Diffuses some of those situations. That one way, way long. That's a that's a tough long serve for Cooper. Cardinals two points away from sweeping. Julia Galicia to serve, and she <laughs> throws the changeup for the ace. It is match point for the Cardinals. A carry, set point Cardinals. They get the win in three. Yeah, nice job. You know, give them credit because they were trailing, as you talked about, most of this third set, but able to regain composure and, and build up the lead and get the win and sweep the Hawks, move their record to four and nine. And uh, this is a win. I think this, Joe, this is a win that they they hope they would get. It's an opportunity for them uh, to get that fourth win. And, I think they would have been disappointed if uh, they came away with a loss here. Well, especially after the way they started a big run in the first set, got them a huge lead, and they ran away with that one. And as you mentioned again, able to come back in the third set after a an early deficit. Well, you know, and. Again, Cooper did a good job of of gaining a, a little bit of a lead here throughout that third set, but you see the Cardinals doing a good job of putting it away, and once they built up that lead, they weren't going to relinquish it. Coach Endes has to be happy with that win. Well, only a couple of weeks left in their regular season. Our season moves on. Busy week here at CTN. Sports night on Monday, Tuesday volleyball, Thursday swimming over at Northdale Middle School pool as they take on the team from Maple Grove. And then, as you mentioned earlier, also taking our act on the road. All the way to Chan Hassan. Chan Hassan, Southwest Metro. Come out and support the Cardinals so you're not frustrated by the poor quality of video yes. transmission back to the northern edge. And then watch the replay at midnight. But we will be there for sure. We got soccer playoffs coming up next week. But that's going to do it for this edition of CTN Sports. Again, the final score, it's Coon Rapids in three, 25-9, 25-15, and 25-17. 
Want to thank everybody out for joining us, continuing to support everything we do here at CTN. For the entire crew, including Howie Shapiro, I'm Joe Young saying goodnight.